Hello, this is Ken Gascott. In DB2000 version 9.5.4, the OD2 form utility has been revised. The reason is that some users were apparently confused by the rather busy screen presented in the old one. So hopefully this will improve that issue. To open the OD2 form, go to the menu Forms and select OD2. When the form is opened, the officers from the current watch are listed and if the officer is on file at headquarters, then HQ is shown in the status column. The OD2 form and the organization grid view in DB2000 are interlocked so that changes made in either location will affect the other and if there are any records that are not on file at headquarters their status will be shown as changed. Names can be assigned to an office by selecting the name from the drop-down list at the top of the form. So we drop the list down and we see a list of the names of the, of the uh, members of our squadron. Simply select a name and highlight the office to which uh, he will be assigned and click Add. The Undo button undoes any action just made. So if I click Undo now, you will see that this person has been removed from this office. Instead of using the Add button, an officer can also be assigned by selecting from the drop-down list and double-clicking on the office name. And this will achieve the same thing. Notice that the status column now reads changed because this is a, an office that was not filled in the filing from HQ and therefore it is a new, um, a new office holder. Again, let's just press undo and take that person out again and I'll show you yet another way of assigning a member. If you have a member that already holds another office and is going to be assigned to the, new, to the other office as well, simply in the status column click it and you'll notice that the list has changed to the name that is in the row in the cell that you clicked. Then just double click where you want it to go and you will see that we now have that person also assigned to the other office. When leaving the form that has changes, you will be asked if the changes are to be saved. Save changes to the current office holders. If you make a no selection, then the changes that you just made will not be saved and the status will be reset to that as it was when you uh, started the last session. So let's do that. Now let's reopen the form OD2 and you will see that the office that we just filled is now vacant again and the status has been reset. Let's put a name back again. Uh, we can do this by clicking on the status symbol to position the thing and double clicking here to put it back. Let's close and this time when it offers to save the changes we will say yes. And now it will also offer to upload these changes to headquarters. In this particular case I won't do it so I'll say no. However if we now reopen the form, we will see that that change has in fact been saved and it will stay that way until you upload the data to headquarters and get a new download at which time this will then be changed to HQ. Now uh, please note that a record is considered to be changed if when it was vacant an officer is assigned or if an office holder is changed, or if a previous occupied office is vacated. In each of these cases, the record will be marked as changed and put on the list to be sent to headquarters. By default, 
when the OD2 form is opened, it shows a list of the current officers. But another use for the OD2 form is to enter your next watch officers prior to your next change of watch. To do this, select the New button, and you will see that there are some additional controls involved. DB2000 keeps a list of next watch officers, and you can start such a list and add to it or edit it as you wish. At any time the Clear button is pressed, it will delete the list of new watch officers and you get a clean start. Officers may be added to the list and changed in exactly the same way as I showed you for the current watch officers. You can use the drop down list to select the officers and just add them to the offices as you desire. So if we pick a name from the list, let's say this one, and say he is going to be our squadron commander, you can just list it here, as you did before. When you leave the form, you will be asked if you want to change the save, save the changes to the next watch officers, so we'll say yes and uh, then it will probably insist that you must have an installation date. It needs to know that so that uh, it knows when these officers will become current. Select OK, come over here, let's enter a date, let's say 11.03.04 and enter that and then say save, save yes and so now we have started our list of next watch officers. When we reopen the form and select new, we will see that the entries that we've already made are still there and uh, we can continue with uh, our list or editing. Uh, the add current button here will transfer current office holders to the similar position in the new list. Add current will not overwrite any selections already made. So the idea here is to make all of the selections that will be different first and then when you are finished doing that if you add current it will transfer all the officers in the other jobs to this list. We'll add it now and we'll see that it did not change the one I had entered here, but it did change everything else. And uh, so we can see now that all of the officers in the last watch will continue in the next watch. This is probably not true. And after you've made this uh, move, the next thing to do would be to remove any where uh, that is not true. So let's just say remove remove and so on. So you see the idea here is first put in the ones that will be different, then add the ones that will be the same, and then the delete the ones that are inappropriate. When you are at last ready to upload, then in order to uh, prime the computer for this purpose, you click on the Save for Submission button and this will say send pending OD2 next watch officers list to headquarters. Now I won't do this because this is a totally totally in a, inappropriate upload. I'm going to say no, but if you had said yes, then these changes would be sent to headquarters. But headquarters will hold this data until the change of watch date. After that date, it will transfer them to be the current officers.